Good afternoon, whippersnappers. Welcome to the second episode of the Good News Gang. Fruit of the Spirit, part two, joy. Hey, Narfi, how are you doing? Lousy. This is the worst day of my life. <sighs> uh oh, sorry to hear that, Narfi. What went wrong today? Oh, just everything. I tell you, everything. Well, start with when you got up. What happened this morning? Well, I was having waffles with extra blueberries, which is my most favorite breakfast of all time. Yeah? Well, I had to heat up too high, and the phone rang, and it was my sister Gertrude, and while she was talking and talking and talking, my waffles started burning. Pretty soon, they were on fire. The smoke alarm went off, and the fire department came, and they squirted the hose on my waffles and ruined them. Completely ruined them, I tell you. Oh, it is awful, so awful you wouldn't believe it, Robbie. Woo, that's a pretty bad morning. What happened after that, Narfi? I went to the library, and I was looking for a book to take my mind off the waffles. I stubbed my toe on a bookshelf. That made me trip and knock over a man who was looking at the newspaper, and he fell on a little lady who was reading a scary book about monsters. She thought the man was a monster attacking her, so she called for help. My toe was still hurting, so I screamed. And do you know what the librarian said to me? No. What did she say? Young lady, this is a library. Please be quiet or leave. Wow. Couldn't she see you were hurt? I tried to tell her about my toe, but she kicked me out of the library for being noisy. Poor Narfi. Did anything else happen to you? Yes. I went to the grocery store, and when I tried to pick out a can of beans, crash! All the cans fell off the shelf. The store manager came over and was mad because he thought I did it on purpose. He made me stack all 550 cans all by myself. Can you believe it? After that happened, I came here. Narfi, I'm really sorry to hear about the bad day you've had. I'll bet the kids have had bad days, too. How bad are kids? Do you ever have bad days? Oh, I guess you're right, Robbie. Everyone has a bad day now and then. What about you? Do you have bad days? Sure I do. But when I have a bad day, I remember what I read about the fruit of the Spirit in the Bible under Galatians 5.22. It says that one of the fruits of God's Holy Spirit is joy. Well, I don't feel very joyful right now. Well, how about some bubble gum? That always makes you feel joyful. Sure. You have a piece of gum for me? Yeah, here. But, Robbie, this is used gum. You've already chewed it. Yeah, but it still has some flavor left. I only chewed it for about 20 minutes. Then I stuck it in the wrapper and into my pocket. It's practically brand new. Thanks, Robbie, but no thanks. Suit yourself. Why doesn't anyone ever want to accept candy from me? Hmm. Oh, well, where were we? Oh, yeah, joy. Yes, Robbie, stop talking about gum and tell me about joy. Well... There are lots of verses in the Bible about joy, and I, what I learned, I wrote down just to share with someone. Looks like that someone is you, Narfi. I could use a little joy on a day like this. Well, here they are. <coughs> joy comes from the Holy Spirit. First Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians 1.6 Cool. It sure doesn't come from mean librarians. What else, Robbie? 
In John 16:22, I learned that no one can take our joy away if our joy is in the Lord. And in Psalm 28, Philippians 4, and 1 Peter chapter 1, I learned that only one thing should bring us joy. Can you guess what that is, Narfi? Well, I know it's not burnt waffles. Is it chocolate? No, Narfi. The Bible says over and over that our joy should be in the Lord. Oh, in the Lord. So if we find joy and happiness in serving God and learning about Him, we will stay happy because our joy can't be taken away? Right you are, Narfi. If our joy is in the Lord, we will still have bad days. But God is big enough to always be there to help us get through it. We can pray to Jesus for his help when times are tough, and joy because we know he loves us. Wow! That's great, Robbie. I feel better already. I want my joy to be in the Lord. That's the Spirit, Norfie. Nope, that's a fruit of the Spirit. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we look forward to seeing you again next week for the next episode with the Good News Gang. Bye everybody.